And for people who experience the blizzard of 78, it's the storm they measure all others against. Today is the 40th anniversary of the second day of the historic storm, and it's an event a lot of people have their own unique stories about. Our Roslyn Flaherty heard a few of them at a diner in Shrewsbury this morning. Roslyn? Olivia, many people today reminisced about the fun times of the storm and the challenging ones, and they can all agree they are thankful for better equipment. Years old and stuck on Route 9 during the blizzard of 78. It was a little more than they were forecasting, from what I remember. Hope the Gimian was trying to drive home to Marlboro from Southboro. He, like others inside the Edgemere Diner Wednesday, has a blizzard story to tell. I stopped with everybody else, and luckily I was far enough up in the front that a uh, front end loader was pulling people out of the way, and I actually got pulled out of the way and made it home. The intense two-day nor'easter dropped more than 20 inches of snow in 35 hours in Worcester. People were stranded and couldn't use their cars, including Kristen Murphy's dad, who was at his job. My dad worked at Norton Company, and he walked home during the blizzard, and he picked up some woman that had fallen and walked her to the hospital and kept walking home. Took him a, like the whole day to get home. Winds whipped up to 50 miles per hour and drifting snow caused a lot of problems. Mike Novick is the owner of the Edgemere Diner. He was eight years old. Snowdrifts were so high that you could make tunnels and igloos. Novick had three weeks off from school and says as a kid, he thought it was great. My buddy was jumping off his uh, second, second floor three-decker into, you know, into the driveway because the drifts were so high in some spots. Meanwhile, Hova Gimian says no one was prepared for the amount of snow in the blizzard of 78. He's thankful now for technology. There's more four by fours out there. A lot of people in front wheel drive cars. I mean, back then most cars were two wheel, rear wheel driven cars and they don't go real well in the snow unless you're driving backwards. Now, they also say they remember taking a very long time to clean up. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about any of those snow totals today. Olivia. All right, that's for sure. Thank you, Rosalind.